Hi everybody, welcome back to Andrew's Channel International. I am Andrew and today we play some more Pathfinder. Wrath of the Writers. Uh, we are we are now um, inside the Defender's Art. And I'm not going to sleep here. Because if I do that, I'm going to trigger an event and uh, I will try to go out actually. And the demons will attack the city. What I have to do, I sold my equipment, uh, I spoke with all the NPCs, and I am going now to complete some more quests. I see that the party encumbrance is medium, so which is not bad. I I, I will show you the party and and um, I know what we need very soon. We keep Nenio with us, we keep Anavia at the Defender's Heart. And now we are going to discuss with the Enchantries and Wonder Shop, where we will basically have the chance to solve the Tiefling's Hideout mission. We enter this location. And we can now have a look at what's going on here. Let's say, because I can't remember. A bright future awaits us. Do you unbiased Actually, I can't heal anyone because I really have to sleep, but there's some loot here. And uh, since we are... No, oh, it's fine. And then you anyways cannot learn uh, any sort of magic. There's someone here under. I can hear your footsteps. Uh, pull me out. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Is what is this? A pipe fox. Summons a pipe fox pet. Pipe fox provides plus three insights bonus on knowledge, arcana, and perception. Not bad. I think that I'm going to give this uh, exactly to Ninio. And I will just activate it. Where is the little. Ah, <laughs> here we go. Move. Okay, it seems fine. I'm going to now interrupt. Finian, the talking weapon. Be like a pancake under that you are a Pathfinder. That's right, Finian Dismar, Pathfinder and Crusader. I roam around the world wound wherever my tasks lead me. Scouting mostly. But this last while I've just been hanging around in Canabras waiting until I'm needed again. I'm bored uh -huh. in my mind, but at least this shop makes for better lodging than some inn. What's that supposed to mean? I just told you. You want to know where I hail from, is that it? Well, I'm from around here, actually. We Kellets of the Star Eye clan fled when the world wound troubles began. But I couldn't stand by while Basically, we just found a um, talking weapon. Did you mean to ask about my weapon? And uh, he like can spiritualist, but with a transform itself in whatever we want. Spirit took a liking to me at some point. Wait, what? The last thing I saw was some thieves breaking in here. And then the guards came, everyone was running around. If there are demons in Canada, right. you must do something about it. I take you with I me. You... I take you with me, Finian. And now what I could do, uh, I could transform Finian in a second uh, short sword, or I could try to give maybe uh, a composite longbow to... Probably it's better. Let's ask Finian to turn into a weapon. No, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second, Finian. Finian, where are you, Finian? Composite longbow. Yeah, that's probably the best. Okay, let's do this. And now the composite, uh, Finian, the talking weapon as a component, uh, composed, composite, uh, co oh my god, I cannot pronounce it, composite longbow. Uh, is going to be a plus one longbow that I'm going to give to Lan. Done. So now Lan has a, has a magic weapon as well. And as soon as I will have a magic weapon, I will transform Finian in something else. But now we have a quest to finish, so let's check this kind of melted golem. Oh, 
awaiting orders. Where did you come from? No, tell me about any suspicious people who came to the shop in the last week. 56 individuals entered the shop. Human female, old, no male, old, human female. He'll be reading off the customer tonight, but we need to ask it in a different way. All right. Were any of the suspicious people tieflings? Tieflings, three. Tiefling male, middle age. Tiefling male, young. Tiefling female, young. Describe it, the female. Above average eight, hair, long pale, tail not observed, long horns, eye color blue, special observation, scar on nose, baldric with gold stitching. Mm, I don't know that one. A new arrival most likely, gold stitching hair. Wouldn't mind getting to her a little bit better. Describe the young male. Short horns curling backward, medium length tail, eye color yellow, eye color black, special observation, annoyed master. Or certain. That sounds like me, but it's impossible. I know what the security is like here. I didn't come near the place. I give you my word, Chief. Of course. Subject was unremarkable. <laughs> there, see? Can't have me mean. Now let's get the middle-aged male tiefling. Medium height, long horns, medium late tail, color of the eyes, pale blue, skin color dark, special observation, red hair. Oh, that's our traitor. I bet your life on it. Charisma I drilled it into our heads that we uh, that we wasn't going to hanging about the shop. Okay, red hair, we've got a couple of gingers and plenty more who get it out of a bottle. So much for a special formation. Okay, so we need to find someone with red hair, blue eyes. Um, describe it again, sorry. So, yeah, red hair, uh, skin color dark, so dark, um, dark skin and red hair and blue eyes. Long horns. Okay, fine. This is enough. So he says that uh, the, there is something behind him and using some athletic skills, maybe we can uh, sneak in. It worked. We moved him. Now we can go to the basement and in the basement we can probably get some loot oh there is also Pretty good, aren't a gnome I? there was someone there okay yep only him Follow me. filmen frulliatros moroder spandit scavengers okay thank you please come down no one's going to rob you ha <laughs> <laughs> Philemon is recognizing Wolif. Uh, Chief, if he keeps digging his heels in, just say the word. I know how to loosen his tongue. Let's try to use um, a bluff. Fail. Let's try to intimidate and succeed. All right, all right, just put that away. I tell you everything, I ask your question. Tell me about the red-haired tiefling. A red-haired tiefling, I suppose, yes. There was one who came in, spent a long time looking around. He was a person of modest means. I could tell by his clothes, but he asked me to show him an Azimar made chainmail. He certainly couldn't afford it. That's when I suspected that something was off. I checked everything after he left, but nothing was missing. I can't remember what he looked like. Didn't get a good look. Okay, I remember is that he was wrapped in a green clock like he was freezing. So, red hair, green clock, dark skin, blue eyes. That's it. With that description, we'll surely sniff him out. All right. Tell you about Wolif. Tell you about the woman. I found everything I want to know. Thank you. Okay, so we will go back uh, to the Tifling headquarters and finish this mission. So no combat so far. I want... Oh, there is something secretly hidden here. A gold ring, all right. I would also sleep maybe, but before getting some sleep, I want to make sure that I don't have to travel longer. Because if I have to travel then 12 hours, it makes no sense. I will sleep when I arrive. All right, let me check, let me check, let me check. We have here um, 
red red but there is no dark skin ah but his guy has a has actually a green cloak so his skin is kind of green as well it could be melrun it could be melrun i'm ready to give a name melrun a air red tiefling who wears a green cloak is the traitor now that all remains you will pay for this, Rotiel and Habsima will get you in the end. Alright. He was a traitor. He has been killed. And we, I think that we... Grab him, take him away for questioning. Okay, I think that we managed everything, right? He confessed someone connected to the cult of Baphomet ordered him to steal the moon of the abyss. Okay. He said it. Okay, wonderful. What are we going to do now? Can I join the family? That's not what you want? No. Have to go. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm sorry, Wolf. Let's part on good terms. And now apologize to me as well. <laughs> and I'm sorry to you too. And to make it up to you. Here. She pulls a key from her pocket. We have the Tiefling's Vault key. All right, so I think with this diplomatic uh, role, we managed to get the access to their secret stack, uh, which is wonderful because I think that I can now open this door. Yes, I can. Uh, there is a trap though. Bolif can take care of it, I'm sure. This is my kind of work. And now we have to loot. Uh. Oh, that's much better. There is a ring. There's a ring and I don't know what is this about, but the ring of sharp strike. Whenever the wearer of this ring shoots an enemy, engaging in a melee combat and hits, the enemy suffers a minus one penalty on attack rolls for one round. Th which means that this is going to go on LAN because LAN is... Uh, um, shooting enemies engaging in melee combat and is going to nerf them uh, this is really a, this is really a good this is really a good ring for my boy okay i think we can get out of here get back to the map and uh, let's pick our next quest because the map is very big and there is a lot a lot to do we have now 10,448 XP points, so we would need another, yeah, more than 4,000. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that we will manage to do that before coming back to the Defender's Heart with someone on the road. But let's see. Let's have a look. Yet another obstacle. Okay, sheer... Dredge, dredge, messenger, dredge, dredge. Okay, this is not going to be very simple. This is not going to be simple at all. Uh, Crimson moves close to Arik because Arik will jump on him. Scylla can actually charge the shear. Ember must try to slumber him. That worked pretty well. By the way, I need to check this kind of... Ember slumber. Uh, okay. It's a will save. Okay. It's a will save difficulty class 16. Oh, a stinking cloud. What if... Get out of here. Second stinking cloud. Arik will just saddle up and now uh, and, and that's it because uh, our wolf moved already. Lan can now attack this wretch. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. And now he's having a magic weapon, you know. He has a plus one composite longbow. We need to save the messenger maybe? I'm not that sure. Anyways. Then you need to get out as well from this cloud. Otherwise she's not able to do anything. Oh, come on. Okay, let's use a coup de grass so the shear is 
no longer a problem. And, and it worked. Ember, on the other hand, can try to deactivate the other enemy. Come on. And now what if gets out of here uh, but can't do anything because he's still having some sort of headache, right? Okay, now it's screen some time. Let's charge. Come on. Okay, Lan. Nenio, she moves out. Um, I, I think I can't, I just cannot do anything in this status. No Alright. Nope. We need to get out of the stinky clouds. That's it. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? Okay, the messenger managed pretty well to defend himself. This damage reduction is something horrible. Really. I can't do anything. Okay, now it's Lan's turn and the stinky cloud is it over. I should have hit the second one because he was also already very weak. I would have killed him. Okay, the messenger is killing one of those. Neno can't do anything. Maybe Sela can finish this. Nena, eh, Nena, Le, Sela does. Done. Okay. By Ayomide, I'm alive. Wow, it felt I had half of the abyss herself on my tail. Commander Terabit sent me to get you and thank all of the gods I found you before it's too late. The commander wants you to come back and that to protect the defender's heart right away. What happened? Demons. The demons are closing in on the tavern. They soon have us surrounded. I almost didn't make it past them to come and get you. They could strike at any moment. Go back to the tavern. I'll be there soon. Let's go. I didn't sleep. I really, really hope, I really hope that for this battle, my uh, party will get some rest. Yes, um, it seems that it seems that we have some rest, but more important, the attack is uh, the attack didn't start yet. There are the crusaders here. Okay. Uh, nope. 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 Actually, actually, we need to sleep. Okay. There is one thing that I want to do before the battle starts, uh, because I I actually forgot about that. If I go to the basement, there is a kind of a kind of a puzzle. I love the <laughs> I love how, how, how they work together. There is a kind of a puzzle that would help me. And what we have to do is the following. There are some uh, levers, so this must go up. The other should be... Uh, no, actually, I think I made a mistake. This should stay up, the other should be down. Uh, I think I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. This, go, this goes up. And now I have to push this. It wouldn't budge, okay. Then I try to push this other one down. I can't really remember. I just know that they are all, they must be all up except of one. Um. Uh, 
Okay, so let's try again. Let's pull this down. Maybe I was right at the beginning. Let's see. The button one. Badge, okay. There is obviously something wrong here. Unless it was the other way around, so down, down, and the other one up, maybe. Let's try. Nope. Follow me. All right, yeah. So up, down, and up. Not and down. So now we opened a secret stash and we can get a loot here. And here we can get another loot and there is an helmet. Some potions, which is never bad. The helmet is an headband of alluring charisma, which is great because plus two charisma. Um, if I look at my um, characters, of course, Amber could use it, but also uh, Scylla could use it uh, due to the fact that Scylla has already the damage reduction for ranged attacks. I think I'm going to give this to my uh, witch. So she's going to have a five in charisma. And I think that that's it. Now we can go up. March on. Okay. Let me speak to everybody. I have to go. You're not... I have to go. I think I spoke to everybody and uh, yeah. Look, Chief, I got some... Oh. Aha! Indeed, Chief. You and I saw who the traitor was. Although, of course, I did think about it. since that night, Chief, Melround didn't even steal. Really? No. <laughs> Thieves have... Well, so we just realized that uh, he has the moon of the abyss. <laughs> I've been going to Filemans to look at the moon ever since I was a kid. He chased me away, but I just kept going back. So event, this isn't just some shiny. Dream. You deceived the people who consider you a friend. That's not the way you treat friends. I perform a good action, but whatever. I'm not sure if I if I have the trinket now, but I, no, not really. And if I look at him, nope. This region can be used to brew potion on scribe scrolls. Okay, scroll of shield, scroll of magic missile, scroll of ma mage armor. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to talk to uh, to to the other characters, sell some stuff. Let me see what could I do here. Uh, wait in descending order. No, 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 no. Price in descending order. Dark Omen. Okay, I'm going to buy the Bag of Holding, which is going to reduce uh, actually our... Shit. If I, if I sell this Abrupt Force, I could buy that. But I think I need some time. Okay. Spicy pastry, comprehensive. What is this doing? I think that I'm going to buy this uh, recipe because I want to see what is uh, info. What is this doing? I, I think I will have to sleep before understanding it. Okay. Let's speak to Camellia. Nothing new. Let's speak to Nenio. No, I spoke already to to my party members and we see if I can get something more. With 200 gold, they can't do anything, honestly. Okay, let's see if uh, if we can speak to Selen here a bit. It's time, I guess. Um, what I'm trying to do here is just to unlock any sort of 
a quest. I don't want you to read everything. I'm not going to tell the whole story of the game. It would be too it would be too much time consuming. Perfect. We spoke. Now F5 because I don't know if speaking to Eurobit will trigger immediately the fight. Otherwise, I try to. Um, Exactly. I would just say I need some more time to prepare. And then I'm going to the bedroom with Amber. <laughs> I mean, that's, that was not the goal. But I am going to check now my spells book. Here we can give the magic fang to the wolf. Here we can use a large person, bless, sleep. Cure light wounds, summon natural lies. I think the light wounds will not be useful in the battle. I, I believe that it's easier, it's better to have something different, which could be a second en entanglement, for example. Entangle is not bad. We will give strength both to Ari and Sela. We are going to use probably no uh, restoration for this battle. On the other end, we need to have protection from evil. So I'm going to have protection from alignment communal. So all the party will be protected from evil. Um, uh, so then we need to pick the spell book of the wizard and actually yes she can learn she can learn uh, ma magics let me see if I can just go here and study them use 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 nothing all right copy to spell book ah yes there is the sign I can copy to the spell book all of those forgot about this This is wonderful. She cannot copy yet the, the, the fireball because she can't use it theoretically, right? Okay, so level one, she's going to cast on herself the mage armor one time. She's going to cast vanish if this uh, is necessary. And then she's going to have four magic missiles, which are very good. And on level two, she's gonna cast mirror image. Uh, we don't need the strength. The create pit will remain because it can be very powerful. Resist energy could be very useful as well, but I would say a molten orb is also very strong. So I'm going to take two molten orb and a pit. So basically Nenio will just attack and uh, she will be our main caster invisibility mirror image um i'm going to take grease for the battle i'm not going to take any magic missile a uh, missile at all i will get probably the mage armor which i'm going to give again to ember and that's it so now i am going to say thank you for your time and in the next episode we will witness the battle for the defense of the defender's art. Thank you for watching and see you next time.